Welcome to yoga. We're going to start with our soles of our feet together. Not too close to the pelvis, slightly in front. If you want to actually lean against a wall, that might help, or maybe sometimes we put blocks under our knees just to give us a little more of a comfortable feeling at the beginning of class. I'm gonna, we're just gonna hold on to those ankles. We're gonna inhale, lengthen, pulling the hands into those ankles, looking up, dropping the shoulders. Just stay here for a couple minutes. Let's stay in this elongated position. We're gonna inhale and exhale right here. Every time you exhale, I want you to see if you can drop the shoulders down, but keep the chest open. Welcome, those of you who are coming in. Great to see you. Take your time getting into the class. We're gonna ease in slowly. And let's actually now, let's pull our torso gently forward. Place the hands on the floor in front. And we're gonna take three deep breaths here. Beautiful. I think it's really important to start just connecting with the breath. We're going to do that one more time. Now we're going to take the hands behind the pelvis, fingertips pointing forward. Squeeze those shoulders behind you. Tuck the chest in here. Relax those knees and just let them drop into the ground. We're going to take three breaths here. We're sending energy between those scapulas. If you want to tilt the head back and release the chin to the ceiling, you can do that. And then gently come forward. Good. And this time we're going to inhale, exhale, walk those hands forward, palms on the mat. And if you have blocks underneath you, see if you can release those and just relax, letting gravity do the work here. Three breaths. Good and recover. Just extend the right leg out to the side, kind of on a diagonal, not really all the way to the side and not front. Inhale, take that left arm up. Exhale, slide the leg, the arm down the leg. Grab hold of the toes if you can, or maybe take your two index fingers and kind of hook them between your big toe. And hi, Amy. And Pull yourself just gently down, by, but also trying to drop that left knee to the mat. And now let's just drop that left scapula down the back. See if you can open up the rib cage towards the ceiling. Breathe three breaths here. Let's take that arm behind the back and just give one last little uh, a twerk is not the right word. That sounds negative. <laughs> Open up the chest to the ceiling. See if you can get that chest a little bit. Pull that ear down to the knee. 
And then just because it feels so good, release that left side of your body over your leg and just breathe here. With each exhale, see if you can just maybe walk the hands out a little further. And then when you're ready, slowly, slowly come up. If you're having any back pain today, it's really important to come out of position slowly and with intention. Let's switch sides. My left leg is out on the diagonal. My left foot is flexed. Right arm comes up, lengthen on the inhale. And exhale, grab hold of those toes or the ankle, whatever feels good. Settle into the stretch, drop that scapula under the armpit towards the ceiling. Breathe. And take that arm behind the back. The top of the palm is against my back and I'm using that as leverage just to open up the chest a little bit more. Gentle, gentle. And then when you're ready, just let that right side of your body wrap down towards the floor and release the head the nose to the knee. Keep that left foot flexed. And slowly walk up to recover. Let's take both legs in front. Inhale. Let's just inhale right here and exhale just down with the arms. Just a couple of times. This is now we're really settling into our breath. Scooping up the arms and then maybe dropping the chin to the chest as the arms come down. Matching the movement of the inhale with the reach up and exhale with the spreading of the arms. And maybe next time, take the arms slightly forward. And then on the exhale, take the arms slightly back. And maybe play with those arms a little bit. Maybe you cross them at the top. And maybe, maybe you round the back as you exhale. Do what feels good. Just start to really focus in on the inhale. Movement matching the breath and the exhale matching the movement of your body. So you can really start to play with what you're doing with your body during the inhale and the exhale. Maybe you go side to side. Maybe you start playing with your cross lateral movement and add a little twist. But this is our time to gently bring our focus to the breath and to the power of the breath, leading the movement of our body and infusing it with all of that dynamic energy that we don't always pay attention to, but is there for us. Couple more.
Good. All right. Comfortable seated position, whatever that might be. Legs out, legs crossed. You can come to your knees. Whatever feels right. I'm just going to come onto my knees for a minute. We're going to do a little shoulder work here. Inhale. Shoulders to your ears. Hold the breath. Exhale. Scrape that back. Wall down. Couple more of these. In through the nose and out through the nose. Using that ujjayi breathing on the exhale. Slight hissing sound. Check your lower back. We don't want any swayed lower backs here. Make sure your shoulders are right on top of your pelvis. Good. And let's just do a little forward rotation and then an opening. So roll the arms forward, palms come out, roll them back, palms go out the other way. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Wow, that's amazing. Let's just do one shoulder up and down and then the other, up and down. Just a little, get that full range. And you're gonna, it's going to affect your rib cage a little, and maybe you let it. Maybe you let it just tilt you a little bit to get that rib cage stretch. And let the head go. Oh, a couple cracks there in my <laughs> cervical vertebrae. All right, good. And let's do uh, some head circles. Dropping the chin to the chest first, and then just taking the right ear to the right shoulder and back. Just two circles, nice and slow. Focusing on every inch of that circle that you're drawing. And then two the other way. Beautiful. Let's come um, into table. So our feet are flat on the mat. Our fingertips are about facing our feet about a foot behind our pelvis. We're going to inhale. On the exhale, we're going to push the pelvis up and we're just going to hang here for a second. Yeah, feel our legs, feel our core, feel our booty, feel our arms, feel our hands. Breathe, feet, knees, quads. Stay there, I'm just turning off my ear. <clears throat> finish with this, but let's not. Let's do it now. Let's do a little bridge here. I want to power up those legs just a little, get them heated. So let's inhale and then exhale, press the pelvis forward. I'm sorry, up. <laughs> and let's take the right leg off the ground. See if we can send that heel to the ceiling. We're just holding this for a few breaths. And then we're switching. Good. And bring that leg down and then slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, bring the pelvis down. Let's inhale, arms above the head. 
And we'll exhale, peeling ourselves gently, vertebrae by vertebrae up to sitting and then extend the legs. And then we'll just give a gentle head drop here. Forward fold. And come up to sitting. Roll back down slowly and with control. Inhale, arms come up above the head. Exhale, peel your arm, but keep your arms by your ears if you can. To come to sitting and find that and then reach forward and drop. So you're getting that delicious stretching right here. Whatever that is for you, you wanna nod your head here or shake it no. And then we come back and we do that nice, slow and controlled descent, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, reach the arms up. It's important to get some heat in the body. I know we said we wanted to stretch, but you can't just jump into stretching. You gotta get the blood flowing. And then when everything's all primed, we can get some deep stretches in. So that's what I'm trying to do, but gently. Good. All right. We're gonna um, just do some very simple um, uh, rock star reaches. So I've got my right foot flat on the ground and my left leg shooting out in front of me. My left arm is placed on the mat, left hand down. We're gonna do the same idea that we just did. Inhale on the way up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do five. Three more. On the third one, I want you to stay in rock star for three breaths. So I want you to hold the pose and breathe. and recover with control. All right, switch sides. Woo -hoo -hoo. Love it, feels good. Other side. Inhale. Press that pelvis forward and up. Slow and steady wins the race. We're matching the breath with the movement. Always, always, always. And we're gonna hold the last one. Three breaths. Beautiful. All right. Let's come on to our left knee with our right leg shooting out to the side, hands in front. We're just gonna give a little rock and roll here. Coming down into this one-legged prayer and then coming forward and just slightly forward enough so that you get a little wrist stretch. So you should feel this in your inner thigh, the stretch when you're down here, yeah? <clears throat> And then switch when you're ready. Just kind of loosening up. Toes are full peak up, pointing forward on that left foot. I've switched sides. Good. And then back to good old table and cat cow 
Always matching the inhale of the arch, the exhale, the round. This is like the plies in ballet right here. This is the yoga plies. Good. Let's take the right ear to the right booty. Hold. And the left ear to the left booty. And neutral. And let's just do our warm up prayer pose half chaturanga push up so we go down knees chest chin booty stays up like a worm push up and then come into prayer inhale as you come up exhale down exhale up well that what inhale exhale exhale you'll figure it out your body knows what to do Yeah, I'm taking a little inhale before I press up. Scraping those elbows along the side of the rib cage. As you go down, knees, chest, chin, coming into that inchworm position, and I will meet you in prayer. Oh, this is a good place to come to anytime during class when you need to just settle and get gather your energy. Prayer pose is a home base. Good, let's come up. And let's just take the uh, fingertips and point them towards the knees. And all we're gonna gently do is just send the booty back about four inches. Just kind of trying to do a little bit of wrist work. Gentle here. This is, you do not need to do a lot. And then maybe flip the palms up. So the top of the hand is on the mat and again and just take the booty back about two inches all right good let's take let's actually come down onto our uh, bellies <clears throat> we're gonna do my trick-or-treat those of you guys remember the tr the trick <laughs> is that we have to come up to plank from this position the treat is that we get to stretch and do this delicious stretch in between. So we'll start with the, with the stretch. Take the left hand out onto the floor, palm facing down. Take the right toe off the ground and tap it on the floor, up and over your body. I'm looking up at the ceiling. So this is a delicious stretch for that pack in the front of the shoulder. Come on down, bring your face to the mat, switch sides, right arm comes up, tap the left toe behind. Feel that opening up of the chest. Now we come down to our push up and we try to come straight up. I have to use my knees, but that's okay. We do what we need to do. Let's do five of these sets. So you stretch, and then you stretch. We already did one. And then you push up, and then you shot around it down. That was two. Three more. your knees that is a beautiful thing believe me this is no joke stuff so do what you know is going to challenge you 
but do what is within your capability. Ooh, one more, I think. Or well, maybe that was three, I don't know. I'm putting my knees down for sure now. I don't know about you guys. I'm doing my last one here. <sighs> yeah. All right. <sighs> I'm gonna meet you guys here in with my face flat on the mat. I'm gonna take my hands above my head, palms down, do a little back work. We're gonna inhale, bringing the upper body off the ground. We're gonna keep inhaling as we take the arms to, the, to um, a T position. And then we're gonna exhale as we bring the elbows into the rib cage and look up. And then release down to the ground. So we would inhale, V, T, and then exhale, W, and release. Let's do uh, five total, three more. V, T, W. V, T, W, V, T, W. Ooh. Was that five? What was that four? Okay, that was five, I think. <laughs> We're gonna bring the heels together. Heels together like a frog. Forehead on the floor. And we're gonna lift those legs off the ground on the exhale. Inhale, exhale, lift, clicking those heels together. Inhale, exhale, lift and hold, squeeze all the stale air out. Inhale as you lower the legs, exhale, lift. Inhale as you lower, exhale, lift. Continue in your own time. I'm using my breath of fire here on the exhale. But you know, it's up to you. You can do a slow exhale if you want. And the next time you exhale and your legs are off the ground, I want you to stay there and breathe. And release. Awesome. Let's come up into down dog. Find your way. This is another great home base. We're reaching our heels to the ground. All five fingers are spread wide, paying an extra attention to the base of the thumb. Three breaths here, yogis. On the next exhale, take that right leg up, hold it there for a couple breaths. And then swing it through and drop the knee. Untuck the toe, let's inhale. Pressing the pelvis forward.
We're gonna do a little flow here. Exhale, booty back, flex the foot. Head to knee. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Exhale, booty back, flex the foot, head to knee. Inhale, reach. One more time. Good. Let's take the left hand to the floor and tuck that left toe, the left toes, not just one toe, all of them. Let's come into runner's lunge twist. And we're gonna flow here. Inhale, head to knee, flip, straighten the legs. If you need your blocks, grab them. And then down to runner's lunge, hands on either side of the foot. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, booty comes up, legs straight, head to knee. Good, and let's come back to down dog. And if you want, you can come down into prayer. And if you want, you can do a little flow through here, a chaturanga, a cobra, and then back to down dog. Whatever your body needs. Left leg comes up. We're gonna breathe here a couple breaths. Everybody's with me. It looks so good. Step it through. Drop the knee, untuck the toe. We're going to do a little inhale, reach to the sky. Guess that's what they say in old westerns. But this is a peaceful reach to the sky. We're not under duress here. Let's do our flow. Hands to the mat and push the booty back. Flex the left foot, head to knee. Inhale. Push forward, exhale back. Reach for the sky. Hands come down. Booty back, head to knee. Couple more. And then when you come back, tuck the back toe, right hand to the mat, twist it out, breathe. And hands to the mat, our little back of rock and roll here. Straighten the leg, head to knee, pull that left hip back, runner's lunge. Inhale, lunge, exhale back. If you grab your blocks, you can get that little extra lift. It helps sometimes. And then when you're ready, send the leg back. You can stay here, come to prayer, or do your chaturanga and your flow. All right, I want everyone to just walk the feet to the hands. Give yourself a moment and forward fold. And when you're ready, with a micro bend in the legs, slowly come to standing. Yeah, we've been down there for a while. Let's grab some water.
All right, a couple standing poses. Let's just um, hug the right knee to the chest. So we're clasping the fingers together <laughs> on the outside of the knee, and I'm just rotating the ankle there in one direction and then the other. Good, and let's just take that knee out to the side and maybe take the arm, the opposite arm out. Ooh, it's just kind of sort of testing our balance here. And then maybe bring it forward and then change hands and do a little standing twist here, taking the right arm and opening. Now this is the challenge. Whoa, I don't have anything on these walls to like focus on because they're all white. And I notice I need some uh, focal points. So we're doing a little standing twist here. Good, try the other side. Hugging the knee to the chest, starting with some simple ankle circles. Just standing on one leg and finding that balance is super complex, you know? Babies can't do it. Young kids can't do it. <clears throat> it's very challenging as we get older. So this is our superpower, our yogi superpower. <laughs> Practicing our balance. And then switching and seeing if we can get that twist. Good. And let's just do a nice four stretch. Right leg comes over on top of the left. The left leg bends, the knee bends. We're in a one-legged chair. Bring the arms up by the ears. <clears throat> you can hang out here and do different things with your arms if you want to do an inverted prayer. Along your, uh, in your, on, along your spine. That's one thing, sending the elbows back. You can also take the torso forward and maybe even see if you can touch the ground with your fingertips. And then see if you can bring the hands back up, keeping <laughs> that balance. <laughs> It's the recovery that's the tough part sometimes. And then when you're ready, shake it out. Try the other side. Get those forearms really up by your ears, yeah? Arms are long and lengthened but not locked. My torso is slightly forward on the diagonal. If you want to try the inverted prayer, which is also a good wrist strengthener stretcher, sending the elbows back or draping that upper body over the, the leg. Maybe see if you can tap the finger on the floor and then come back using the core. Ooh, that standing leg feels heat. All right, we're doing good. Doing good with time. All right, so let's let's just do some. Um, we'll stay we'll stay standing. We won't do uh, sun salutations, and we'll get into some of those poses. Let's just start with star, and then turn the right toe out and the left heel out or back. And we'll just come into warrior two here. So the pelvis is flat. Good, let's sink into that a little bit deeper. Breathe here. See if 
See if you can really get those spiral staircase legs, feeling that twist, that outer twist on the glutes. And let's take the right arm up, inverted, not inverted. My mind is blank. Backwards, oh, you know what it is. Good, and let's come forward and let's take the elbow onto, I know the leg is hurting, the leg is hot, that's okay. Come into side angle, same side. We wanna get the heat. You can stay here or parallel the arms. And come up, back to start. Ooh, ladies, I need to shake my legs out before I do the other side. Okay. <laughs> you guys are working me. All right. All right, left toes out, left, right heel out. Warrior two, opposite side. Sending that knee to the side, to the left. Let's breathe here. Sink into it a little, no dump. Sink. And reverse warrior, thank you, brain. <laughs> You're still there. And elbow to knee, right arm comes up, press the pelvis forward, side angle. Parallel the arms if you want. And recover. Whew. Shake it out. Let's just do a quad stretch really quick because <laughs> I think it feels good. Right hand um, on right arch, left arm up, slightly tuck the pelvis, send the top of the knee to the ground. Press the foot into the hand, that's gonna put, make you drop that scapula, drop that shoulder, try the other side when you're ready. All right, back to star. Right toes out, left heel out. Warrior, actually we'll just start right here. We're gonna go into warrior two. Let's reach, 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 reach the torso over the right leg and come into triangle. I'm gonna use my block today. Try to get the pelvis forward so that the body is very flat. We're looking towards the ceiling. If that hurts your neck, you can look down. It's really no big deal. When you're ready, we're going to take the hand to the mat and lift the back heel off the ground and bring the foot to the edge of the mat. We're going to do head to knee here. Keep your eyes open. You can leave your hands on the mat or you can take them to the back of the head. Really good for the digestive system. It's hard for me to talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> This is an intense one, so just stay as long as you can. Try not to lock that front leg. And then when you're ready, work your way back to standing. 
and then we'll switch sides. Left toe comes out, right heel comes um, out. We reach the torso forward. We tilt down into our triangle, grab our blocks if we need it. Prep, <laughs> I'm falling. Press the foot pelvis forward. See if you can get that feeling of being paper thin here. And then when you're ready, hand to the mat, heel comes back, heel comes off the floor and the foot goes to the edge of the mat. The legs are parallel, yeah? The feet are parallel. I'm pulling my left hip back. I'm letting my nose come to my knee. This is great. You can stay here. You can use your blocks here or you can put the hands to the back of the head. All right, let's come up slowly, slowly, slowly. Recover, shake it out. Maybe just a few little um, foot, toe stretches here and also stretching the calf a little bit. So like a deep plie and just kind of pressing the heel into the floor. All right. On our way to the ground, let's go from star through flat back into pyramid. Just stretching here, toes forward, pulling the head down to the ground. And then let's take the hands in front, spread the legs a little wider and let's bend the right knee. Take the left hand right in front of the right toes and twist. Breathe. Feel that inner thigh stretch. And spider woman across to the other side, bend the left knee, right hand goes in front of the left toes. Twist, lift that left arm up. And spider woman back to the center. Come on down to the mat. We're going to do some abs and then we are going to do a deep relaxation. We are perfect time. Here we go. So Yogi's choice on abs, but I'm gonna do some twisters, some very simple bicycles. If you want to just do little breaths here with the legs up, inhale on the on when your body is down on the ground, exhale as you reach towards the toes, or you can do that with your feet flat on the ground. Just little inhales and exhales here. Those are all your choices, two choices. Or you can do bicycles with me, starting with the right knee to the chest and the left elbow twisting. So I'm inhaling and I'm exhaling on the switch. These are slow and controlled. And as usual, we're matching the inhale with the movement and the exhale with the movement. Two more. One more. 
Beautiful. Just let the legs, the knees kind of fall right and left. Let's do happy baby. We haven't done that in a while. Take the outside of the feet in your hands. Oh, yeah, why, how did we forget about happy baby? So we're just rocking here, trying to keep the back on the flat on the floor, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So just, you know, try to relax the neck. And then when you're ready, let's cross the right leg over the left. And let's twist to the left. Let the knees fall to the floor. Looking over our right shoulder. And recover, <clears throat> untwist, recross, left leg on top, let the knees fall to the right, look over your left shoulder. And then recover and uncross again, recross with the right foot on top. And let's weave the hands through and um, around the left thigh, pulling the left leg towards the chest while we send the right knee away from the body. You can even actually use the right hand to push the knee away while you pull the thigh towards you. And then drop the left foot on the floor and then drop the right foot on the floor, still on top of the knee. Take the right hand and send it up on the right diagonal. Push the left knee away from the right fingertips. So you're creating that diagonal line and a nice stretch along the lower back and the side of the body. And recover, um, cross, recross, left over right, weave the hands through the, <laughs> through the hole and around the thigh. Get that delicious, slightly painful <laughs> hip stretch and glute stretch. And then if you want, push the knee away while you pull the thigh in. Drop the right foot down to the floor, drop the left foot to the floor, but keep the ankle attached to the knee. Take the left palm out on the diagonal and then push the left knee away from the pelvis. Recover. Stand the body on the mat. Take the hands above the head. Take a deep breath in and hold the breath. Squeeze the fists, squeeze the feet, squeeze the face, squeeze the glutes. Hold your breath, tighten everything. Tighten everything, tighten, 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 tighten until you can't tighten it anymore. And then relax. 
Stick the tongue out. Say, uh, maybe just give your face a little movement. And then bring yourself into Shavasana. Deep relaxation. Let me put on a three minute song. Begin to bring yourself back to the room by wiggling your toes and fingers. In an easy cross-legged position with our hands in prayer or wherever you feel 
we would like to be in closing today's class. You can always stay in Shavasana also. We will seal our practice today with a uh, deep appreciation for all the little wild things in our lives, like the little spider that's crawling up my foot, the birds that have been chirping nonstop, the little chicks and the little bunnies that are coming out now in springtime, and also the little live things in our own lives, in our own bodies, our spirit, our humor, our laugh, the little things that make us who we are. We're grateful for those little live things. Namaste. Thank you for coming, everyone.